Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. As you may or may not know, I am doing design with Detour, which means I'm designing a t-shirt a day for 2024. And I started in January and now it's April and I've made all these designs here. And not only that, but I'm being very transparent about showing you my designs as well as showing you the income I get from these designs. So I made this video here. You might've seen this one where it was three months in and the profit that I made on Redbubble, TeePublic and Amazon. This is an update to that video. So this is month four. I'm gonna show you what I made just in the last month and comparing it to the last three months and showing you the difference, how the trajectory is going, if Redbubble is doing any good, if TeePublic is doing good, any good. I'm gonna compare it and kind of give you my thoughts on it, on how to speed this up as well at the end of this video. So stay till the end. I'm gonna give you some of my thoughts on how I can make this even better or how you could make this even faster for your print on demand business. So the first one we're gonna take a look at is Redbubble. Last time in my last video, I showed Redbubble only had one sale in the last three months. We're gonna see if it got any more in this last month. So here we are on Redbubble. I wanted to show you my dashboard first, just to show you that the trend is going up. Now, these aren't really high sales, but at least they're getting better and better every month. And that's because I think I'm adding more and more designs every month. And so that's that's the trajectory uh, of print on demand. If you add more and more every month, you should make more and more every month as well. Uh, let me go here. This is how I showed, showed this last time in the other video, but I wanted to share it in this one. If you go to manage portfolio, you can go right here and it will tell you if you've had any sales. So if you come on here, you can see I just added these. so they're not gonna have any sales, but if there was a sale, they would say one or two, and it's not the dollar amount, it's how many sales you got. So if you had 10 sales, it would have a 10 here. If you had eight sales, it'd be an eight here, not $8, but eight sales, okay? So let me show you what we got last time, and I'm gonna count these up and to show you what I got this time, just in April, and the last time was for the first three months. Okay, so just as a refresher from my last video, this is what I got from Redbubble, pretty sad, but in the first three months, January, February, March, I only got one sale out of all the 100 designs that I uploaded within that time, and I made a profit of 330. So let's see what I got just in the last month in April. So this month in April, or last month in April, I got 12 sales, isn't that crazy? So the first three months, I only got one sale. In the next month, the fourth month, I got 12 sales. So that's what happens, it takes a while to ramp up, and you can see a lot of those sales came from these two. So this one was one sale because of the t-shirt, a lot of stickers on Redbubble. These were all sticker sales, but this one, uh, someone bought eight stickers and the ninth sticker was a big sticker. So I got $15 on here. So total profit for this one for just in April was $23. So a big jump from last time. Not a huge amount of profit, but the potential uh, the trajectory is really good. It kind of just shot up like that, right? And I hope I can keep this. So if next month in May or this month in May, when we do this again, hopefully I get even more and more sales from these designs that I'm putting on here. So the next one I want to talk about is T Public. So T Public was my second place. We only did three, but it's the middle one. And the, you can find the sales the same way. I showed this on my last video, but the same way you can see zero sold. But if it was one sold, it would say here, but of course these are brand new. Um, so I'm gonna go through all my 100 plus designs again and see how many sold in the month of April. So I'm not counting the ones that sold the first three months, but the ones just in April. So just a reminder from my last video, in the first three months of this year, I only made nine sales with TeePublic with those designs that I just added this year. So again, it takes time to ramp up and you can see it says one sold here, one sold, two sold here and nine sales with a about profit because I didn't know if it was during a sale or if it was during, but uh, usually I get $4 per sale. So four times 936. So let's see what I made just in April. All right, so just in April, I got 12 sales on Tivo, like for 48. So again, the trajectory is going like this. I'll move my face so you can see which one sold here. But uh, one of these, one of those, one of those, you can see onesie, onesie, onesie. I'm not, not a really big seller here. There's not one like standout. Uh, and uh, eventually there might be a standout, but it takes a little while for the, for the standout one to stand out. So 12 sales, 12 times four is 48. And you can see I made more in April than I did the first three months. So what does that mean? That means 
uh, sales are going like that, just like we saw with Red Bubbles. Same thing with Tee Public. It's going up and up and up, right? Okay, so the last one I want to share with you is Merch on Demand. I'm here on my Amazon Merch on Demand account. I have Pretty Merch Pro installed. And the way to find this is to go to products, if you have this installed, and go to more filters. And you can go uh, down here and say, has sold, yes. And then create a date right here after, you can see January 1st. So we want to do that and do that and then have it filter. So I'm going to look at all of those and then show you what it comes up with. Oh, and I'm going to minus the ones that I already did uh, in the beginning, in the first three months. So just as a reminder, last time, the first three months in the year, Amazon Merch on Demand brought in $94.75. I got uh, lots of sales from a lot of different countries, mainly US, but you can see at the breakdown. I'm not going to break it down like that this time, but it's going to be pretty much the same. So also just as a reminder, these are all the ones that sold last time. You can see a ton. Again, these are the first three months, not just one month. This is across three months, January, February, and March. And let's see what I sold just in April. All right, so these are some of the ones, or these are the ones that I sold in April, just April on Amazon Merch on Demand. So I'll move this over here so you can see I got 20 sales. So a lot more sales in, on Amazon than I did the other one and a bigger, a lot bigger profit, $76 worth of profit just in April. And you can see across uh, mostly United States, but a lot of these new ones sold. So I got a zip hoodie with this new design here. This one didn't sell last time, neither did this one. This one did sell last time and so did this one. So some repeats, but others brand new. So that's what's gonna happen as you do print on demand. Some things that you add are gonna sell and some aren't, and some are gonna be repeat sales from the last time. So they're building on top of each other. Now, these, um, it, they're not as much sales as the first three months, but it's still going up. So let me show you a graph here. So this is a graph that I made just to show you the sales that I've made with the design with detour uh, designs, the ones that I've been working on just this year with the prompts that I showed you. So January, of course, I've just started. I didn't get any sales and that's pretty typical. February right here, you can see I got about 11 sales in February from the things I put in January and then March from the things I put in February and January and maybe some in March. Uh, I got 16 sales and then April because I'm building upon, you know, what I put in January and what I put in February and what I put in March, I got even more. So I got 20 sales and the hope is next month it goes even higher and higher and higher as I add more and more designs. And that's what you want to do with print on demand. You don't want to just add all your designs at once and then sit back and wait because what's going to happen is it's going to go up and then it's going to go down, right? So you want to keep adding more and more designs. So you keep getting bigger and bigger profits. So one last thing I wanted to show you is the total amount of profit I made for this year so far with the design with Detour Designs, right? The designs that I put in every day. On Amazon, a total of 171.72, Tee Public a total of $84, and Redbubble a total of 26.95, which is a total profit of $282.67. Now, I know a lot of you might be thinking $282 for four months of work going on my fifth month of work is not a lot of money. And you're right, it's not a lot of money, but it's proof that this works and you saw the trajectory. So it goes up and up and up like this. In the beginning, you're not going to make a lot of money. Let me show you something from my merch on demand when I first started in 2017. So here I am on Amazon Merch On Demand. Again, this is my Pretty Merch. Another thing that Pretty Merch does is can show you your sales for all time. So I go back, I started in early June of 2017 and you can see the first month I only got six sales. And then the next month I got 31 and it went up and up. The reason it went up a lot faster, and this is what I wanted to explain is, in the beginning, I only could upload 10, right? So the sales were low, but then I quickly went from 50 to 100 and more. And I had so many designs from doing print on demand that I was able to upload a lot more designs at once. So right now I'm only doing a design a day, but back here when I was doing it, I was putting as much as I could, as fast as I could. And so I went up pretty quickly and you can see I'm closer to Q4. So of course the ramp up with September and October would have been faster. We're gonna see that again this year, hopefully with design with detour designs, you're gonna see that it's gonna ramp up like that too. So. It is a slow game. Print on demand is a slow game, um, but eventually it gets more and more and more until you, you know, 
go really high like that. So that's where I'm at right now, where it's um, not anything near what I'm doing before uh, years and years ago. But today, after many years of doing this, uh, the money is definitely worth it. I think one of the problems people see with print on demand is they see a lot of people making $5,000, $10,000 a month, but don't realize that it takes years to get to that point. And this is not a get rich quick kind of business. It is slow and adding a lot and a lot more designs. One thing that you can do to uh, speed it up though is to do trends. Now, I'm just doing design with detour. A lot of these designs, a lot of these uh, topics that I'm showing you are not trends. Uh, and so they're more evergreen. And so you, people will buy them here and there. They're not like hot topics. So one thing you can do to get some sales right away. And what I did early in the beginning was to go after things that are really hot right now. And so I, I can't predict that ahead of time. So I didn't put that in my design with detour. I'm only putting evergreen. So if you want to do that, go f find people that are doing trend videos and maybe do that. Um, but the bad thing about trends is once the trend is over, you might not get any sales for that again. So it's a good way to get quick sales and get out of those tiers, but it's not something sustainable. And I wanted to do something that's a little more sustainable. And again, I'm only doing a design a day. So if you want to wrap this up, you can do two designs a day or uh, upload as much as you can during the day. I think Redbubble and TeePublic have a limit of maybe 30 to 60. I'm not sure because I'm only doing a design a day, but you can do a lot more than one a day. And if you're on Amazon, depending on what tier you're on, you can add a lot more than one a day. So if you want to speed this up again, um, make sure the quality is good, but upload a lot more than the design a day. And you'll, you'll see, hopefully get more sales as well, just because you have more things to sell. Well, there you go. That's my video for today. Hopefully this was really eye opening to you to show you real numbers, not just uh, fake numbers or, or taking numbers of a bestseller from somebody else that you don't even know. Um, this is real numbers for real designs that I'm showing you every day. If you want to follow me on social media, I share my designs on Twitter, on Instagram as, and, and Facebook, as well as the YouTube uh, community feed. So all those places, you'll see all the designs. And if you want to design with me, that's great too. I have my prompts on my downloads page on my website. You can get it here. I'll also put a link in the description for it. And if you want to see that video I did last time with the first three months, if you missed that one, I'll put that video right here so you can see the breakdown and how I found all of it. I go into more detail on um, what I sold on Amazon and things like that. So a lot more detail in that video than I did in this video. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.